guys. Top has been changed. <clears throat> anyway, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making snickerdoodles, and snickerdoodles are actually like one of my favorite things to bake because they're like they literally just happen to be so ridiculously easy to make. Actually, maybe I shouldn't say that because what if I like do it wrong? Anyway, they sh I'm from mem from memory from the last time that I made snickerdoodles, they were pretty easy to make. This is like the corner of my kitchen. I do have like an island, and I wanted to set it up like a cooking show, but the lighting was just literally terrible so we're doing it over here for now I'll one day I'll maybe I'll get a ring light one day and I can live my cooking show fantasy but for right now I can't Rosanna the pants you know please don't hurt me I'm gonna link this recipe in the description in like in case for like any reason you want to follow along but we start with preheating the oven to 190 degrees Celsius um, Celsius because I'm in Australia and if you're in America watching this, um, it's 375 degrees Fahrenheit. A bowl, this is for like the topping, because for those of you that are unfamiliar with snickerdoodles, <clears throat> snickerdoodles are like cookies that are like really, really soft, and they're like coated in cinnamon sugar, and, oh that's, I was actually a third of a cup of ground cinnamon, that would not have been good. Also I only have like kind of miscellaneous like measuring spoons, so I have to like make it work from what I've got. I also got my nails done. Can you see that? I hope you can because they look great. I've never gotten this shape before, the almond shape. I was terrified of it and I thought that the lady was doing it wrong at first. And then I was like, no, no, I'm going to trust the process. This is literally like what she does every single day, so she probably knows better than I do. And she did. I was right. But it was really expensive. I literally blaming this on inflation because when I was in my little, in my era where I wanted to be a beauty influencer like so bad, I would get my nails done consistently and it would literally cost me like 50 bucks maximum. Like and then even then I would get like a student discount on top of that. So it would be like $45. I got just this done the other day. $75 and I was like oh my god and then like but I didn't want to show my shock on my face because then the lady was going to be like oh my god you're such like a nail you're not a nail connoisseur and I was trying to give the impression that I was oh and do you know what else happened I have like <clears throat> when I'm in like nail salons and they're like holding your hand and like trying to do the stuff to your nails my fingers like seize up and they get like stuck and it's really like it's annoying for me obviously but it's also more annoying for this poor nail lady that's trying to like move my finger so she can get the right like shape and everything and she's like the i think if i had a dollar for every time this lady said to me you need to relax your hands you need to relax your hands i would be like 12 dollars richer wow okay is this okay? And also with the flour, we've got like, I'm also making these gluten free by the way, and dairy free, because I don't really eat gluten or dairy. Oh my god. Also, this is my favorite bowl that we have. It makes me feel like I'm on MasterChef. I'm pretty sure it's from Coles as well. Isn't that, I'm pretty sure Coles is the one that MasterChef sponsors. Oh no, the other way around. Um, these cookies do require a lot of flour. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but just letting you know. I really want to go to America, not for like the reasons that you would think, I literally, I just want to, <clears throat> I want to see all of their like grocery stores, because I feel like America has such like a range for like, like plant based stuff, but like I just, I feel like it would be so much easier to not eat dairy in America, whereas like in Australia, you've got Coles, Woolworths, Aldi, and that's like it, I'm pretty sure. And then you've got like health food stores which cost like a lot of money for barely anything. Like I have been to America before but I was too young to understand the excitement of being in a grocery store. So it's, I feel, I'm not counting that. I need to like go over there at the age I'm at now and experience things. And that's, this is just the flour. Next, cream of tartar. This stuff. I know that in America they call it tartar. One teaspoon of baking soda. 
Now, I actually did learn today the difference between baking powder and baking soda. I can tell you what it is, but I know that there is a difference. I think this is the one that you use in like the volcanoes. I don't understand how this is supposed to like work, but whatever. I'm aware that there's like, <coughs> there's now flour every, oh my god, my hair is in my face. There's now like flour everywhere, but you know what, as long as I clean up after myself, it's okay. Cinnamon, I gotta say, has to be one of my favorite spices. I've never really put thought into like what my favorite spice is. Oh. I was probably supposed to sift this, wasn't I? Oops. Oh no. Hand mixer or a stand mixer? I can't find the other balloon head. Okay, I found it. Somebody put it in the wrong drawer. If I were a kitchen appliance, this is what I would be. A hand mixer with two balloon edges. Two balloon appendages. I would walk through burning fire even if your kiss could kill me. No, I would die for you. So it just said to like combine all of like the dry ingredients. So this is what I'm doing. That looks pretty combined to me. Next. Oh my god, I got my beat star notification. Are we looking? Focus. Wait, does it do it? Yeah, beat star. Telling me to play the daily shuffle. Of course I will. So now I need to take these ingredients out of this bowl. I'm going to put them into one of these. Sugar. Oh, gotta cream together the butter and sugar. One cup of this. Now, it says use unsalted butter, but this is olive spread. And I personally, as a person, I go against the grain. Let's find out. Oh, there is salt. Oops. Don't break it under me. I hope you guys can, like, see what I'm doing. Normally, as a chef, I do try and like clean as I go, but for the purpose of this video, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just like gonna do it all and clean it all after because I feel like you guys don't really want to watch me cleaning. Okay, um, set 19 minute timer. Every single time I ask my Siri to set 19 minute timer to set a timer, she goes ready to do it. And I'm like, mm, yes, obviously that's why I just said set a 19 minute timer. Okay. Just believe me when it says ready to do it. Okay, now one and one third a cup of sugar. We got the crock pot on with our spaghetti bolognese. You never touch a crock pot like that. You could burn your hands. I did it because I knew that it was not terribly hot. Ooh, it's raining. Something about weather like this really makes me want an icy pole. Oh my god. Anytime I have like a thing of sugar like this, I feel like I'm in the olden days. I'm not gonna elaborate actually. Also, my favorite thing about this, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, so I'm just gonna project. But my favorite thing about this hand mixer is the times how long I've been using it. The rest of my life for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? And there she is. Egg, egg yolk, and vanilla extract. Separating an egg is sometimes an easy task and sometimes it's not. So what, what I like to do is, actually there's no way for me to show you this up close and terrible. You'll be able to, I'm going to like maybe zoom in on it, but Now I know some people like do the little thing, but a more efficient way, as long as you're okay with doing your hand study, is doing this. And just letting it run through your fingers. And as long as your hands are clean, it's okay. And then in it goes. And you wash your hands before you do anything else. Hands have been washed. And then vanilla extract. 
There's always stuff on the bottom of this one, so I have to like shake it up. Sh -sh -sh shake it up. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in, but that looks about right. Be not medium to high speed until you come back. But rubber spatula. Got it. Oh, I forgot about that egg. So I'm taking responsibility for the fact that I ruined the cotton of eggs. So now I'm just gonna. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now, but. Okay, now my space is a little bit more clean. Let's get into it. And we're just gonna combine the flour, like spoonful by spoonful, so as not to make flour go everywhere. Now I know that you can add more at a time than what I'm adding, but I've just had experiences where it's literally gone everywhere. And I don't feel like cleaning that up, so I'm not happy. So yeah, and then let me, oh my god. Get a lot. Hello, princess. I'm not telling you to do this because you might get time now. I also am unsure whether people will be watching this video. <laughs> For like cooking or just for the fact that it's me doing something because <laughs> if you're watching this for cooking advice i have some bad news for you um oh yeah see this gets like a little bit sticky oh i should have done the parchment paper first but that's okay oh no okay I have to reset the time on my camera. I definitely just got cookie batter on the camera, but there's sacrifices that need to be made sometimes. Ah! I'm actually low-key having a time in my life. This sidebar Snapchat has to be like one of the least, one of my least favorite forms of social media. Don't really know. Okay. I need to, I'm supposed to be like rolling this into balls, but it's too sticky. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands again. Good morning. I need a cup of water. This is my favorite cup in my house. It's a pint glass. But I, always, like, I almost exclusively use it for iced coffee or for iced water. I just remembered what I did the last time I made these to make this thing to make the current problem that I'm facing a lot easier and I'm going to do that again Delectable I've got my two cookie sheets here I just need to line them with like baking paper I used to watch a lot of Rosanna Pansino when I was a kid so this is like a full circle moment Okay. Now this is where she gets a little bit complex, and I'll show you what you see. Alright, so we're going into our batter, and I'm getting a spoonful, and then I'm doing the, I don't actually know what this is called, but I, I, the first time I did it was because I saw people doing it in MasterChef, and so then you get it like this, and then I have my cinnamon sugar over here, and I, I put it in. And then I roll it. And it goes. And then after, once you've done all of them, um, like you press down on each of them with a fork so they get the, like, the snickerdoodle shape. So I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to just do that a bunch more times until I have the trays full. Hey team. I can actually read. I do this every single time that I make snickerdoodles, snickerdoodles except I actually forget before doing it do you know what i mean like i actually forget until it happens but i forget how much how many snickerdoodles this recipe makes let exhibit a okay hang on so like take a look over here there's two trays of snickerdoodles that's not all we also have that tray over there now it doesn't really seem like an awfully large amount however it is just trust me okay trust me on this one it's a pretty big amount. Um, I do not have room for all of them in my oven at once. So I'm gonna have to do a little like, anyway. I know I'm also aware they look kind of like little poops. That's just like the little things that I made them into. All right, let's 
Ignore my pepperoni there. That's just my snack. Um, they do kind of look like little poops, which, you know what, I'm okay with because everybody loves a good poop. And if you don't, you're lying. Okay, so they only get cooked for 10 minutes anyway, and then cooled for 10 minutes. It's time to get a nice aesthetic shot of them going in the oven. get to clean up after myself. Okay, they're like coming out of the oven now. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I gotta do it quick. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> this is really scary. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, because I'm not very good at making this camera focus. Oh, the lighting is poor. That's okay. I forgive myself. Ah, they look like dinner rolls! This is perfect, I love dinner rolls. They cook for 10 minutes and then they also rest for 10 minutes. So, by the time that the second batch is cooked, these ones will be rested enough for me to do a taste test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a close-up of what they look like. Now, the important part of any cooking show is tasting the food. To me, anyway. I'm going to cleanse my palate with some barista almond milk. It's not actually that good by itself, but it's okay. Delicious! I did actually eat one already. <laughs> I won't lie because I literally didn't even think about it, but as the timer went off to say that these ones were cooled and ready, I literally just picked one up and ate it without thinking. Um, if you want to make snickerdoodles, if you want a recipe that's pretty easy to follow, you should fo do the link in my bio. In no, what's it? The link in my description of this video. Um, because these snickerdoodles literally never miss, and now I have so many. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe down below because I do look at like my little analytics and stuff, and it does say that a lot of the people that come and watch my videos are people that unsubscribe that aren't subscribed. So you should really subscribe down below because it really helps me out. And comment down below anything you would like. Make sure you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.